And as far as um, like crime and being safety, definitely as a sister missionary, I know, even, well, any missionary, I know that we're so protected. I, in Juarez, there, I probably had a few more instances <laughs> than I did in my other areas, but we were definitely protected and we were able to get out of the sketchy situations that happened. But especially as a sister missionary, I would recommend, um, as far as like clothing, like I wouldn't worry about buying super nice clothes because one, it's going to get um, worn down anyways because um, in our mission, at least, we would have um, a sister in the ward. She would wash her clothes for us. And so from that, they would get worn down and just working all the time. They'd get worn down. And then, you know, the less, less flashy and expensive looking, you know, the less you stick out. I mean, because being American, you're going to stick out anyways. But that'll help not be stick out so much because they, a lot of people assume, oh, you're from America, so you must have a lot of money. So it's best to, you know, just um, be mellow with your clothing, have something that looks nice, but that's not like super out there. But I would definitely have a couple of nice outfits, like for conference and um, things with the president. But other than that, just really, you could just go to the DI and get some things that are comfortable that and that are cute. But don't worry too much as far as the clothing, but I would um, rather like spend more money in the shoes that you wear because like I said you're going to be walking everywhere we don't have bikes or anything so definitely put more money into getting nice shoes that'll last you I used the I think it was called the Hush Puppy brand with the straps on it and those worked really well they were really comfortable and they lasted basically my whole mission so I definitely recommend using those and as far as jewelry I didn't really wear jewelry i wouldn't recommend it just because like I said you don't want to stand out too much but I mean if you it's probably like nice earrings or um, a necklace that's not too flashy might be okay but definitely like don't go overboard on bracelets or anything just keep it as conservative as you can and then you should be good and as far as like how they greet people like we, with sisters we would give them a kiss on the cheek all the time uh, sometimes especially like members the brother the brethren wouldn't like try to give us a kiss on the cheek but like non-members that's just how it is in their culture that's just how they greet people and so it'd be hard sometimes you just have to stick it up like sorry <laughs> just with a hand but they were pretty understanding of that too if you just explain but especially sister missionaries just be careful with that just um make sure people especially like investigators or people you talk to that they understand the rules and the boundaries and they're pretty good with that but they are very warm and welcoming and hugging so um that's definitely something i miss because i know that is different with our culture like we aren't so warm and welcoming even to complete strangers so that's definitely something I love about the people of Peru. Another thing I would recommend um, for sister missionaries as far as like um, like hygiene and stuff like I don't know if they thought it was some like taboo or anything but like it was like you wouldn't, wouldn't be able to find tampons down there so I definitely um, if you prefer to use those, definitely take a, f a, a bunch <laughs> before you leave because the only place I remember finding them was like if it was like in a big city, like in a really nice store. And at that, if you could find them, it'd probably be only like a box of five because like here in America, you can get like a box of 50, but down there, um, it's not really common to find them. So definitely I would suggest um, taking some before you go and then that way you're covered. And as far as water, make sure you don't drink the water from like the tap or anything because it is, it probably is contaminated. I think I, um, like even when I was brushing my teeth, I think I like drank too much when I was doing that. And um, I think I got sick one time from that. So, um, and that one, the Peru MTC, they'll give you, we got um, water bottles that would filter in it. So I would definitely use that or um, what we would do for water we would just like it came in boxes but like it was in a bag um, like a bag of water so we would buy those or just water bottles from the store because there's little stores everywhere and so um, you can use that too but I definitely recommend using that so just so you don't run into the risk of getting sick but some people are fine but um, some people don't handle it well so definitely you know just make sure you're careful with what kind of water you're drinking. With the language I mean, Spanish is really common. A lot of people at least know a few words before they go on their mission, but 
When I got my call, I was so excited to be able to learn Spanish and become fluent in it. And I, like, I had took Spanish in high school, and I thought, oh, yeah, I'll do pretty good. Like, I think I would be able to talk to people pretty good at first. But, you, you know, you think you know what you're going to say, but then once you actually talk to natives, you have no idea <laughs> what they're saying. And so definitely, um, you know, just expect that it's probably going to be a little hard for the first while, but don't let that scare you away from talking like that is that's one of the things that I would most recommend to be able to learn the language and get it down just talk as much as you can because I mean they understand that you're learning and they, they, they appreciate that you're trying to learn and tell them that um, I mean if you're comfortable with that tell them that you want them to help you learn it and to correct if you say things wrong because I think um, a lot of people, like when I realized later on when I learned more, like when I was maybe seeing things wrong, you know, they would just like smile and nod because they mostly understood what I was saying, but I think they didn't want to like hurt your feelings. So definitely um, tell people, especially your companions, tell them to, you know, correct them, help improve your Spanish because talking and actually getting feedback from the natives is how you're going to learn it best. But, you know, above all, um, if anything, it's the gift of tongues that is going to help you. And I, I know that the gift of tongues is real and that that's truly how you're going to have success and be able to teach the people and um, touch their hearts. And don't, you know, that's something um, that sometimes I would take for granted, but then, you know, when I was reminded of it, I would pray for it. But pray every day of your mission for the gift of tongues to be able to, not only to be able to talk to people, but so they can understand you and so you can understand them. So it goes for both ways. So pray for yourself that you'll be able to speak it clearly and be able to learn and understand, but also so that the people can understand you. And I, even once you get, you know, feel like you're getting comfortable getting good with the language, don't let that stop you from asking for the gift of tongues. You need it continually every day on your mission. And it's only going to help you get better and to feel more comfortable to really speak with the Spirit. And that's um, a, something that um, really humbled me because I remember in, so I was in my second transfer. It was right before the mission change. So our um, mission president and his wife um, had come up to Juarez to kind of like a farewell meeting. But we um, got to have... Um, Sister Hermana Archibald, uh, the mission president's wife, come with us when we were um, tracting and talking to people. And she, um, at that point, like, she wasn't, like, super fluent in Spanish, but I thought it was so amazing to just watch her. You could just feel the spirit with her and having her talk to the people. She wasn't, like I said, she wasn't super fluent um, and didn't know all the words, but it was amazing, amazing to watch the people, and they could understand her and knew what she was saying. And I know that was through the gift of tongues and through the Spirit helping us feel to do that. So definitely be humble enough to ask for the help of the Spirit to have the gift of tongues, and you'll see amazing things with that. With companions, like, advice I would give, um, you know, it's definitely a good preparation for, you know, becoming an adult, you know, eventually getting married. Something that I learned um, that would help is, you know, learn to say sorry, even if you don't feel like you're wrong, because that helps, you know, like if you're having struggles with your companion, you know, in companionship inventory, you know, take the time to really talk about things, but, you know, be, the f be willing to be humble and to say you're sorry, like I said, even if you feel like you didn't do anything wrong, because I remember one time when I was in a companionship inventory, and I'm not even sure what would happen, but, like, I could feel like she was upset or frustrated with me for some reason. But um, I just told her, like, you know, I'm sorry um, if I said this. You know, we just talked about that. I just expressed that I'm sorry for what I if I had done something wrong. Um, and I could just see, like, when I was trying to be humble, I could just see kind of like her defense melting. And she's like, wow. And so definitely that's a huge thing I, was, I would tell missionaries to do. Just try to be humble and just say you're sorry, and that helps things a ton. Um, and definitely, but like if it comes to being obedient, you definitely want to be obedient the best you can, even if it, um, you need to stand up to your companion, because not only will you be blessed for that, but you'll also be able to know that you, know, you have no regrets over that.